Hello there, I'm Tanya Gabrielle, Wealth Astronumerologist. Welcome to this special video on Jupiter in Virgo. Now on August 11th, Jupiter left the sign of Leo and moved into Virgo, and it's gonna remain there until September 9th of 2016, so for the next 13 months. Now, Jupiter changes signs approximately once a year, so it's a really good marker for what part of our life is going to be expanded and optimized for the next year. And Jupiter in Virgo means that this is gonna be a really good time to focus on healing. Your well-being and your abundance are directly related to you paying attention to self-care, self-growth, and self-improvement. And that also means that all healing and service and health professionals, including divination arts practitioners like astrologers, numerologists, we're gonna experience a lot of growth and expansion during this time. Now I'm going to end this video with a really wonderful exercise in gratitude, so you won't want to miss that. It ties in beautifully to Jupiter and Virgo. Now Saturn stationed direct again right before Jupiter moved into Virgo, and this is really important because Saturn will also be changing signs moving into Sagittarius in September, and Sagittarius is Jupiter's home sign. Now this means your ability to manifest abundance and joy and healing and all sorts of opportunities is even greater because Saturn makes everything real. So these two big changes for Saturn and Jupiter are occurring at the same time, which magnifies the effect even more. And in this video, I'm going to focus on what Jupiter and Virgo means for all of us. Virgo is about making things real and getting in-depth details on all things related to health, healing, being of service. And Jupiter looks at the future for opportunities. So it's the planet of optimism and abundance and good fortune and wealth and wisdom. So Jupiter makes our life easier because it brings healing through joy. So the combination of Jupiter and Virgo really creates happiness through healing. Now, Virgo is the perfectionist sign. It's the sign that crosses every T and dots every I. So in Virgo, it's easy to get things accomplished because the emphasis in Virgo is on responsibility, personal transformation, and it also rules the sixth house in astrology, which is the house of service and health and your daily environment. So with Jupiter moving into this realm, Everything it touches, you're gonna wanna invest more time in. So that means invest time in alternative energy, nutrition, diet, quantum physics. If you're a consultant or healer or health practitioner or coach or doctor, all service-related professions, like I mentioned, are really blessed during this aspect of Jupiter in Virgo. And you know, you wanna think of Virgo as the sign that provides value. So, it provides in-depth, detailed value. So if you're in a field where your expertise is bringing value to others, to other people's lives, right? Your business is going to really thrive now because your followers are going to crave getting this valuable feedback and these tips and your coaching and your readings and your support from you. So like I said earlier, everything related to healing and self-growth and self-improvement is enhanced with this alignment of Jupiter and Virgo. Now Virgo is an earth sign and Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. So now fire is about the flames that jump up and they consume and, they, and fire spreads very, very quickly. So Jupiter is symbolic of that expansion and the ability to move forward and see into the future. So Jupiter being optimistic about you know, fortunate events, has big ideas, is very happy, joyful, is about growth, and it's fired up with enthusiasm, but it doesn't always have the ability to turn these great ideas into something tangible and real, right? To manifest that wisdom. So now Jupiter is in Virgo, an earth sign, and Virgo has that ability. Because it's an earth sign, it, it grounds that optimism of Jupiter and it makes it practical, it makes it real. It's able to transform that positive, wise, big idea planet into useful, tangible products and services. So Virgo is a sign of great clarity. It takes that Jupiterian energy, it processes it, it lays the foundation for putting that enthusiasm to something really uh, that's usable, okay? So Jupiter and Virgo also is gonna point out what doesn't work because the energy is gonna expand what's in front of you, right? So it's gonna make it visible, which is like putting a magnifying glass on your idea, your plan, 
your project, seeing it in great detail, and you're going to get really good feedback about it, which is good because feedback will tell you is it useful or is it not. Because Virgo wants to be of service and Jupiter wants to uplift and expand and grow, you can imagine how healing and transformational this combination is. So you're going to really notice how you'll want to be productive, how you'll want to be useful in some way. So when you're fulfilled, because you feel productive, it's wonderful. And Jupiter is going to make sure you're directing your attention towards all those things, all those activities that bring you joy, that make you feel good inside and outside. And so that way you can spread the happiness to others. I also want to emphasize here that you'll have a strong urge to heal your body, to heal your mind, to heal your soul. And since Virgo is an earth sign, the world's attention is going to be focused on natural healing, natural remedies like crystal therapy, aromatherapy, homeopathy, plants, herbal remedies, flower remedies, uh, alternative healing like Reiki, acupuncture, massage, yoga, past life regression, anything that's healing that comes from nature, hiking, meditating at the ocean or by the lake or hiking in the mountains or meditating under a tree, everything that brings you back in contact with the earth and her extraordinary bounty. This is what's covered by Virgo. So that would also include the food that you eat, focusing on nutritious locally grown organic food, even maybe starting your own organic garden or supporting your local organic farmers at the farmers markets or going to restaurants and juice bars that offer healthy clean food this is all the awareness that's going to be expanding throughout humanity right now which also means that if you're in the business of self-care health and healing you're going to expand right like i said so this is good now the sixth house that virgo rules in astrology it does govern your daily environment, self-care, the people you work with, um, your health. So all aspects of how you nourish your mind, body, and soul will be brought to your attention and will want to be expanded. So that includes what you put in your body regarding pharmaceuticals versus plant-based remedies or energy medicine. And there'll be a huge interest in researching alternative healing modalities during this time through science, through even universities, broaching, going much more expansive in this area. Virgo in the sixth house also governed charity and helping others. So the emphasis on being more kind and caring is being enhanced. And so we'll be more open to share with each other, to be grateful and generous. Remember, this is all being created in a practical way. So whatever help you offer can really be useful. Where Leo was about me, Virgo is about us. And Jupiter is going to expand that gratitude in a beautiful way. Now, Virgo likes to make everything work well. So it's a meticulous sign. It loves perfection. So the attention is on fixing, repairing, and bringing things up to standard, which is also a quality that's going to be enhanced. And that can mean you'll be focusing on keeping your home and work environment clean, um, organized, Virgo, like I said, is meticulous, so it, it likes things to run smoothly. And so when everything's in its proper place, you're going to have an urge to clean out your closets, feng shui your environment. You know, this is all good. That's what you're going to focus on over the next year. The sign of Virgo is ruled by the planet Mercury. So Mercury also figures into the storyline here because Mercury governs the mind, it's the idea planet, the messenger, the planet of communication, and it's also related to media. So your mental acuity is really magnified. Now Mercury is the planet of writing and bringing a message out to the masses. So the internet and publishing are really favored now too. And during the same time, the planet Neptune is in Pisces opposite Jupiter and Virgo. So there'll be a great emphasis on your emotional capacity to, co to communicate with others, but in a very spiritual way. So venturing into spiritual subjects like astrology, numerology, and in general, just expanding your awareness about spirituality and nurturing your soul. So you can see the healing is extensive, the expansion into realms of embracing what's natural to you, what's mystical, what's healthy, is really going to be in our conversations with each other. It's going to be covered more in media stories, in scientific breakthroughs. We're going to be communicating with each other in a deeper, more psychic, more intuitive, and more uplifting way. 
And so that would also include many people asking new questions, right? About the nature of the soul or the nature of consciousness. So now we have two eclipses in September 2015. The first of these two eclipses, a partial eclipse, it takes place at 20 degrees in Virgo on September 13th. Now Virgo is important. It's going to really ramp up the energy. This eclipse is going to ramp up the energy of this Jupiter transit. Now if you happen to have, like I said, your sun in Virgo or a big emphasis on Mercury in your chart, or you have Virgo as your rising sign, moon sign, or you have planets in Virgo, even if you have none of these, right? You have Virgo in your chart. Everybody does. Somewhere we all have Virgo in our chart. So you'll want to look where Virgo is in your birth chart to learn the area of opportunity and growth that you'll personally be experiencing over the next year. Okay, so now I want to share that exercise in gratitude with you because it's so perfect for Jupiter and Virgo. So imagine moving your life into the future, like 2019. Imagine looking back at this moment in time in 2015 as if it was many years ago. And you realize going back in time to now that some of the people or pets that were closest to you are no longer here. You can no longer touch them, you can't call them, you can't see them, you can't share your life with these people and pets. They're no longer there for you. They're no longer supporting you. Okay, so imagine that. And now move your consciousness back to the present. Breathe a sigh of relief because those people and pets are here and you're here. So appreciate them. Show gratitude in any way you can. Reach out to the people who you love and who care for you. You know, life is so tenuous. And this exercise in gratitude is really a great way, a great reminder to never hold back your love. Share it however and whenever you have any opportunity to do so. So yes, it's a wonderful time in history. You know, it's, it's a wonderful time for us personally to really grow, embrace what lights us up with joy. And you want to be beaming with your inner light, with a real sense of mission and be exuberant of what, what you want to share and how you want to bring it into reality in a tangible way. This is a wonderful year of opportunity, of fortune, of good health and fulfillment. And I'd love to know how you're feeling about it. How is this fabulous Jupiter transit affecting you? And what are you noticing in yourself? What are you noticing in your life? I love to hear from you. So always leave me your comments. I look at all of them. And thanks so much for watching. Lots of love to you.